when you're when you're touching your balls, mm -hmm. what does a lump feel like? I get a lot of people to touch themselves. I don't think we're quite at like Pornhub status, but Kyle here decided to go with something carcinogen free. So we got some healthy fruit juice. Here's to our health. Is this sponsored by Evolution? Probably some kind of startup. <laughs> so I was diagnosed with testicular cancer when I was 27 years old. My name is Kyle Smith. My organization is called Check 15. Check 15, the monthly cancer awareness day. Every 15th of every month, we put out a PSA. To fight cancer, fight cancer. And that utilizes comedy and pop culture to remind them to do monthly self-exams and consider cancer screenings. Check being a reference to checking yourself. The 15th, because it was smack dab in the middle of the month, and that's when I had my cancer removed. When he told me that he had found a cancerous lump on his testicle, and his idea to make this video series that changes the conversation around cancer, I was totally on board with it. Your logo. Did you do that logo yourself? I did, yeah. It looks, it looks yeah. really clean. Thanks. I feel like a lot of companies are going towards yeah. more flat. I really like this red. We occasionally would use black too, but the red and the white, it pops the yeah. best. We just started super simple. I mean, it was just that. And then we did the redesign. We just went a little more modern with it, you know, added the check. I'd memorize it, like the one and the yeah. check is parallel with each yeah. other. Not too big of a jump. How much should a person expect to pay to make an episode each month? And where does the money go? You want to be seeing what you're paying for. We'll always put the money on screen. I mean, we've done some episodes where we haven't spent a dime. You know, I have enough props already and stuff already. Stuff? Uh, these are some custom things that we made. This was like, from Thriller, This right? is from Thriller. Going on the date, uh, and okay, he right, reveals right. that he's a werewolf. So instead, I revealed that I only have one testicle. I don't think we've ever spent more than two grand on an episode. Thriller came close. Thriller was our biggest production. Well, Thriller is the most popular of Kyle's videos because I'm in it. So I'm just kidding. You hear the door slam. They heard you diagnosed and think you're done. Life for the best. Like that was our biggest production. I don't think throwing money at each and every video that we do is the solution. I record the vocals in my closet there, deaden the sound with clothes. It's not the most fancy of mics. Some of the best vocals, like Michael Jackson vocals on Thriller, were recorded on mics that weren't actually that expensive. It's really not that hard to make quality stuff, you know, quality audio. I mean, all in all, this whole setup costs maybe like $1,500. The biggest thing is all the people that help do it for free because we are doing it for cancer awareness that helps our cause. I think when you enter into an artistic endeavor like this, it definitely takes a group. Mike Stanislavski shoots most of our stuff. I am the cinematographer and I'm a friend. Most of the time my job does consist of just pointing the camera, making sure it's in focus, making sure it's lit. Vicky Chan, his wife, they're two of my best friends, and so they, they help with the production. I help Kyle do whatever he wants on Check 15. Our friend Adrian Mitchell has done a bunch of music and acting. I've not only acted in, but provided a lot of the vocals and some of the arrangements. Kyle did a, a Miley Cyrus parody of Wrecking Ball, and I sing that for him. Just a normal day, reached down, felt away, then I noticed a lump. I beat cancer cause of Jackie Bones! I did a Pharrell parody of Happy. Improve your life by watching what you eat. My roommate Scott, mm -hmm. um, he helps with some of the writing and all those people are in Check 15 videos yeah. too. It affects hundreds of millions of people around the world each year. Then how do I stop it? They're all really talented people and you don't want to ever abuse that. And delegating and allowing different people to perform their job, their role, to really trust each other and to trust that we could bring to the table quality work. The sooner you realize that when you work collaboratively, the better off you will be as a production team. Somebody's strengths will help you finish a video this month. Reach out to anybody who has ever offered help because Everyone wants to help. They just don't quite know how. And it's okay to accept their willingness to help in the video. It's helpful that you have the same people, but also creatively, it's almost familiar seeing these same people. Oh, we wanted you to touch yourself monthly.
your videos, you have a film or tour um, element going on. You tend to incorporate current events and everything that's going on in pop culture into your videos. Mm -hmm. The thing about doing like parodies and, and involving pop culture is I think then in the real world, they might remember the Check 15 yeah. that we did. I started to feel something strange. So I put up the lights again and somebody is trying to send a message. You know, we've done two Game of Thrones episodes. Each month, be the watcher of your balls. We live only by the mother's mercy. SPF 30. And you'll never see that in the video, but it says like, protects against the sins of UVA <laughs> and UV, UVB radiation. I hope it makes it the topic of cancer awareness more approachable. You have a full-time job and you do Check 15 as like your side hustle. A lot of times that means that I'm working 12 to 16 hours a day and then coming home and trying to shoot and edit. You even have these deadlines that you make for yourself every yeah. month. I mean, you were here the other night when I was editing in the middle of the night. Yeah, that was on the 14th. I finished right before I went to work. I don't recommend that method, but if you need to get stuff done, having that deadline and having people know about your deadline, you kind of got to do it. When are you usually editing? Usually on like the 12th, 13th, and 14th. It's it's pretty much always a scramble. Yeah, I'm usually very, very sleepy on the 15th. <laughs> people tell me like, oh, you don't have to do it every month. And I'm like, oh, I kind of do. <laughs> yeah, that's you, our thing. You, you build know, this that's our, Yeah, that's our, that's our slogan every 15th, every month. I always pictured you just kind of sitting in your room or coming up with a script by yourself. If you like bounce it off people and you just thought you were hilarious. <laughs> <laughs> I think a lot of times it happens where I just think I'm funny and then maybe it's not funny, but hopefully somebody else likes it. What is the method to your madness? What goes into making a, a Check 15 episode, starting with the development of the idea? I'll brainstorm, or we'll bring in some um, other friends to brainstorm. Or I'll be watching something, I'm listening to a song, and I'll come up with an idea. You know, sometimes it's just, yeah, that deadline's coming, and we're like, well, we gotta think of something. And then I'll usually write something, and I'll send it out to kind of our core group, and they'll give feedback. Check you from the Since you've started Check 15, do you think you've grown your workflow efficiency? I've figured out how to edit really quickly, do graphics and special effects. I like doing like little rough storyboards. When you know what you need for the edit, working with the cinematographer, it just speeds along the process. You know, we don't have like the fanciest equipment. Well, can you tell me about your, your weapon of choice? So Check 15's weapon of choice right now is the Canon 5D Mark III. We have a Rode shotgun mic, Premiere to edit, Got and it. After Effects for special effects. Do it! Just do it! It's photoshopped for mm -hmm. all, the, all the other content. Yeah. Yeah. The entire yeah. Adobe suite, it's yeah. good. Can we talk about promotion? I saw that you just followed me on Instagram. Mm -hmm. Follow us, Method Box, and Check 15. Check 15. People always give me advice. You know, if I talk to somebody at YouTube, I know they would tell us that we don't post enough because we're only once a month. Most successful YouTube channels post like once a week. So it's hard, we still haven't figured that out after four plus years. But what is working? Have, have you noticed that some videos do more successful than others or is there any kind of like pattern there? It's just completely random? I wish I, I wish I could, yeah, I wish I had an answer to that because it would help us. You're a non-for-profit, you make no money, do you feel like YouTube, the platform, is the best place for you to be sharing your content? I feel like it used to be. You know, YouTube, Facebook, Instagram. You know, it used to be you'd make something really cool and people would share it. Now, it's like you're lucky if people even see it. I don't think the views are very reflective of the content that we create. We ask people in an era of short attention spans to really focus and really pay attention to something that they may or may not know. In the end, if they do, they're rewarded with a bit of knowledge. You have a company that makes a video once a month. It pops up in your sub box. It's not too intrusive. It's telling you to check your balls, be healthy, and it's in a funny, comedic way. Who wouldn't want that, you know? There's lots of other cancer awareness organizations. I haven't seen anyone constantly doing like comedy sketches and parodies yeah. just about cancer awareness. It helps that the content's already there. 
you know, when yeah. people go to the channel, you have yeah. like all this stuff to back yeah. it up. I've seen directly that we've helped a few people. A friend of mine said that he found a lump on his testicle, got it checked um, and ended up having surgery and he had testicular cancer, but because of check 15, he found it early and got it checked. Some of the people that, you know, it actually helped. That's when it really hits you. Of the three to 500, who will actually watch the video and listen and touch themselves once a month, that's saving a life right there. I start to imagine like, what if we were getting a million views yeah. a video? How many more people could, could we be helping? And even if it helps one person, then that's worth spending the time that I can afford to spend. Do something that matters. Do something that's going to positively affect the world around you. There's lots of problems in this world. I just happen to choose cancer. Just the fact that you're doing it, a lot of people just think about what they want to do. A lot of people don't actually do it. Just do it! I would love to stop making Jack 15 when there's a cure for cancer. That said, just about every month, I wonder if this is my last Jack 15 because it's f exhausting. We're consistent. We do it every month. We're gonna be here, and I think that persistence and that consistency will pay off in the end. You know, I've been around a lot of artistic people who have started things, and sadly, a lot of them don't continue after a while. Keep pumping away, keep going at it. It's gonna take drive, persistence. Five years we've been doing this, and, and it'll hit. It just needs that one little bit of luck. Check 15, the monthly cancer awareness day, every 15th, every month. We're on YouTube, Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. All of our handles are at check1515 spelled out. Cool. Kyle, start paying me 20 cents. A video would be fine. I, I'm really hungry. <laughs>